assessment of the game today? Scrappy, bitty. Yeah, I thought first half we started very poorly, but I thought we grew into the game. Uh, probably our best spell was mid first half where we genuinely controlled the game. Uh, gone in half time hoping that we'd go on and probably dominate the game. Gillingham made a couple of tactical switches second half, went two up top. Uh, a little bit of a diamond shape in the middle of the park and we struggled to go with it. The game fizzled out to no chances. Um, we managed to give all our lads a few minutes on the pitch, so it's very, very pleasing. It's, you know, as everyone can see, we're very much work in progress and, you know, we had great travel and support again today. You know, and the lads are working that, as hard as they can to try and get it right for them as quick as we can. I mean, I've seen a lot of positives. Um, personally, I think I'm probably as fit as I've ever been um, under this pre-season. I've really enjoyed it. It's been tough. It's been testing. But at the same time, you, you come out come out of the, the tunnel and you think, you know, we're in a good place here. Um, we, we've played well, we've shown some good signs uh, throughout the games. Um, obviously, it's nice to, to be unbeaten um, and hopefully we just take that into the season now. Um, and a good start is, is imperative. One thing we've got to ask you is about Paul Robinson because it's, it's caused a lot of surprise. Uh, explain explain the, the thinking behind that. I think there's just a lot more will come out over the weekend and it transpires. And you know, I'm not going to get involved in every departure because there's been a lot of them and speaking about players. All we'd like to do is wish the skipper or the ex skipper the best of luck. He's a smashing lad. He's moved on from us now and we wish him the best of luck with his career. <laughs>